Watch out for my latest music. That is Peter Coyote there with his latest album, Arise and Shine. It is my prayer that wherever you are, in your house, in your family, in your office, among your families, even in the midst of your enemy, you will arise and shine in Jesus' name. My name is Bishop Peter Coyote Falarumbo, the presiding bishop a witness international church. I'm in the church right now, ready for midweek service. But Holy Spirit have informed me to share this short message with you before I entered the midst of the congregation. Hallelujah. Every Wednesday in the morning, nine o'clock, a witness international church, a Makrai, Ghana, will worship the Lord for just one hour. And on Sunday, we also start service by 8.30 in the morning. Today, I just want us to really discuss this short sermon. It's a very short sermon. Do you know God? Do you know God? Who is God? Many of us do go to church, but we do not know who God is. Many of us do go to church, but we do not know who God is. Hallelujah. Many of us do go to church, 
but we do not know who God is. We've been going to church for more than three, four, five years. We listen to sermon. We listen to praise. We listen, we listen to worship. We clap our hands. We dance. But we don't know whom we are worshiping. Yes. And that is the reason why in the church, even when we find ourselves in the church of God, we do not know that we are in the presence of God. For this short message, I'm really sorry for the interruption. I have to go out and do some check-ins out there. For this short message, I want you to really know and find out, do you know God? Who is God? Who created you? Who is behind your existence? Who is behind who you are today? How did you come to being? Have you ever sat down one day and find out how did you come to being? Many think it is our mommy or our father who procreate us and bring us forth to life. No. This morning, I want you to quickly know that God is the, your creator. He's the creator of the universe, the heaven and earth. He created them all. The sea, the mountain, the sky, the birds, the animal in the forest. He created them all, including you and me. He created us through mud, clay. We are from the clay of the ground. God molded us and breathed the breath of life into us, thereby giving us life. He created Adam, the first man, and created Eve as the wife. And he created them. The purpose why he created us is for us to live for him. He created us for us to live for his glory. So God is the creator of the universe. God is the creator of the whole world. There is no one on earth that is created by any other person apart from God Almighty. Who is God? I may ask. Do you know him? You go to church every Sunday. Do you know the person you have gone to worship? Have you gone to, to, to the church to worship your father? Have you gone there to worship your pastor? Have you gone there to worship your prophet? Have you gone to the church to worship your bishop and your prophet? The answer should be no. But many of us do go to church to worship their pastor. Many of us do go to church to worship their bishop and their prophet. And when their prophet disappoints them, they abandon church. But I've come to tell you this morning that before you can worship God, you must be spiritual. Because God is spirit. God is spirit. And anyone who wants to worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. God is the beginning and the end. He has no father. He has no mother. He is eternal. He doesn't die like you and me. He does not have expiring dates. His kingdom is from generation to generation. His power has no limit. He understands your beginning from the end and he understands the end from the beginning. He is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Without him, no one is created. That is the God I'm talking about. Do you know him? What is your relationship with him? It is the same God we have come to worship today. The same God that is the same way our sins. When the earth was created, Jesus was there. He is the word that came out from the mouth of God to declare, let there be light. And instantly, there was light. The Bible says in the book of John 1, verse 1, John chapter 1, from verse 1, in the beginning was the world, and the world was with God, and the world was God. The, not it, the world was God. But again, in the beginning was the world. He was with God he, in the beginning. God were present when the whole world was created. When you and me were created. When the animals were, or, 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 of the air were created. When the fish in the sea were created. When everything on the earth were created, the world was with God. In the beginning, all things were created through him. The world and God are one. That is where the concept of Holy Trinity comes from. 
God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, they were together when the entire world was created. All things were created through him. And apart from him, no one thing was created that has been created. Life was in him, and that life was the life. Without him, there is no you, as a witness to tell so that all might believe through him. Hallelujah. Verse 10 says, He was in the world, and the world was created through him. Yet the world did not recognize him. Praise God. Can you see my do you know who says in the book of John, Jesus in Jerusalem, you Samaritan worship what you don't know. We worship what we do know because salvation is from the Jews. But an hour is coming and is now here when the true worshiper worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Only a spiritual person can worship God. It is only when you are spiritual that you are able to understand and appreciate that God that you are serving is spirit. And you must worship him in spirit. You must honor him. You must obey him. You must refer him because he has power and dominion over your life. Do you know God? And who is God? If you know God, you will know his power. If you know God, you are in spirit. You will obey him all the time. Even him, whatever he church for morning program, 